Welcome to this Tobacco University video. Here we're going to be looking at carbon dioxide enrichment levels and cannabis production. While this beginning picture may show rice, it is also a three C3 plant, much like cannabis. So we're going to develop some conclusions and we're looking at enrichment levels. Is more always better? All right, so looking at just a picture here of the rice, we can see 400 or about 390 to 400 is considered to be atmospheric or normal carbon dioxide levels. And we can see how there is a difference in rice production. Definitely as we go below that, we see it kind of dwindling off. And above that, we are seeing an increase in yield or at least in biomass. So how does this apply to cannabis? So first off, if we're looking at what level we wanna keep our plants at, there's some considerations. Well, the first consideration is basically atmospheric levels, which is about 400 parts per million. This is, offers the advantage of no additional equipment would be needed if you were looking at enriching your plants with 400 parts per million. You simply wanna just keep air circulating. The disadvantages is this can limit yields to the, whatever the atmosphere is uh, able to provide. And if you're in a closed growing area, you definitely want to make sure you're moving air around because there is a chance that 400 parts per million, that is normal atmospheric levels, in your growing facility, it could be lower. So what if we enrich to the 400 to 800 part per million range? Well, the advantage is increasing the yields. However, this does start to require specialized equipment, even in the 400 to 800 uh, part per million range. So what about 800 to 1200 parts per million? If a little bit is good, why don't we just go a little bit more? The advantage is this can also or still increase yields. It can use lights that produce a greater intensity as well to take advantage of this increased carbon level. The disadvantages is the cost of the equipment and actual the carbon dioxide, however you're going to be using or producing it, in the sense that as you get higher levels, it's going to require more and more carbon dioxide to be added to your growing area. And then we have the upper end of the range, 1,200 to 1,600 parts per million. Well, the advantage is, is that it ensures carbon dioxide will not be limiting. However, the disadvantage, it will have the highest cost, simply because you are adding a high dosing level from a plant standpoint of carbon dioxide. So we have to weigh all these different factors. What range of carbon dioxide levels are you gonna keep your plants at? 